What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing tips and tricks for new photographers to perfect their craft and get better with the, the photography. But to get you guys better with some photography stuff, you know, this is for all the guys talking about they trying to get better with the photography, they trying to get better. This is for all the guys who want to have better clients, more people, more income, want to hit six figures in 2023. It's for you. And you just getting in photography, this for you, bro. So welcome back. Let's play the intro. Then we're gonna get straight to it. Step one, you need to practice, practice, practice. The more familiar you get with your camera, the more you're gonna be able to crush it out here in the game. No one wants a photographer out here. They ain't never touched their camera before. They ain't never had no real situations with their camera. You're gonna be shooting as much as possible, like nonstop, as much as you can. Pick that camera up, go do the chores, go take a picture of your mom, go take a picture of your family, go do something, you feel me? You gotta do some of that thing all the time. The more, the better. And once you get really great with knowing your settings, knowing everything that you need to do, you'll be so much better at anticipating moments, so much better at knowing your settings, at switching stuff around last minute, you're gonna be in some real pressure situations. So you wanna be able to adapt very quickly. Step two, you wanna experiment with different styles and subjects. Do not be afraid to try new things, to do more things, to just go out the box and just do something crazy now and again. This will help you create your own style, your own direction, your own thing. For me, that was something I really struggled with when I was first getting into photography, was I was looking at all these other photographers who are amazing people, amazing photographers who have their own distinct styles that I was like, you know, maybe I, my stuff should be a little more like them, but really it should be more like you. And that's the biggest thing. Discover your voice and your own techniques. And you're gonna get so much farther in this game. Step three, take a photography class or a workshop. I know y'all gonna kill me with the, oh, I, you know, that's why I'm here. That's why you're here. You watch educational stuff like this. You wanna watch more of this, you feel me? It's shameless plug, I'm gonna drop more videos. Check in the description. But to be real guys, there's some amazing options out here. I'm gonna be dropping my master course later in the year, but definitely wanna be looking into as many different vehicles and like books and like just things that you can look into that's gonna really help out your knowledge on your craft. In this case, it's photography or videography. So. You're gonna be researching as much as possible. Treat it like you're in college, treat it like you're in school, treat it like you're, I mean, it's your full-time job. Because one day it will be, if you put this to the test. They are great way to learn new techniques and also sometimes if you like take like a master course or you're reaching out to a certain person on certain things and don't be afraid to reach out to certain people too. That's another shameless plug. Um, you can reach out to me, my IG is gonna be in the description as well. <laughs> but getting feedback on your work is super important. Get feedback from different people. The only thing is don't let that feedback control your creativity and how you change as an artist, but it's always great to have feedback in the field that we're in. Number four, invest in great slash good equipment. Now I know guys, the whole question is, does gear matter? Gear matters to an extent. It matters to the point where are you functional with your gear? While it is extremely probable, and I've seen countless artists do it, to where they make amazing work with not so great uh, gear, you can do that. I'm not saying it's not possible. What I'm saying is you're gonna have such an easier job investing in the right equipment. If you're a wedding photographer, having that 2470, if you're outside and you're doing sports photography, having that 7200, like having the right gear for right situations is so pivotal in photography. You know what I mean? And that goes for if you shoot with primes or shoot with zooms. And it's fine to have like adaptable equipment but you want to be able to have the right equipment for the right job and what you're into. So investing in high quality equipment can make a big difference at the end of the day. So definitely looking to doing that. I want those people who started with a basic camera though. So, I mean, don't take it as like, you need to buy the most expensive camera in the world. Just buy something that works for you. On to the next step. Number five, seek out wisdom from other photographers, from other platforms, from your social medias, Bro, look, we all got one of these, man. You need to make sure you're using it for your benefit. Meaning, follow your favorite photographers, follow your favorite like creatives in general on Instagram, on Twitter, on TikTok, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That way you can look at 
like stuff that's going to give you inspiration every time you log into these social medias and instead of your social media being bogged down by like foolishness and like stuff that's not going to benefit you at the end of the day you want it or drama or tl or you know what's matthew mcconaughey doing you need to be looking into what is going to help you at the end of the day and for me my tl is filled with countless other photographers that i love and that helps me generate better ideas when I sit down at the end of the day because I can save them or I can screenshot them or use them as inspiration or it might just jog my own creativity. I might get this drawing and sketching and create some own photography for myself. So definitely look into that. Another place you can look is also magazines. Magazines are great. I own like hella magazines. So definitely I have like a bunch of them at my, in my office. Definitely that's something you want to look into. Um, you can definitely find some great crazy inspiration from a lot of different places. So look in a variety of different places and find what works for you. And that not only goes for inspiration, but also for new ideas and techniques as well. Number six, don't be afraid to ask for help or advice. Bro, I tell you, man, you're gonna get some guys who are not gonna wanna help you, but you're gonna get some guys in this photography game who are gonna be so willing to help you out. Like I reached out personally to a guy, I mean, I know a photographer named Corey, who's been an amazing like just mentor and same thing with Darius, he's been an amazing mentor to me. Um, and really helped me out in this photography stuff and just in helping me figure out what kind of gear I need and stuff like that. And kind of just helped me figure out what exactly I needed to do. So definitely don't hesitate to reach out to you. Some of your favorite creators, you'll be surprised who responds to you and gives you a hint or gives you a tip and something that might, you know, just give you that little extra info that you needed that you may have not known would have made all the difference or it may seem simple, but in reality can make all that difference for you as a beginner. Be very welcoming, be very friendly and share your knowledge with others and hope that they share some knowledge with you and be open. You, I mean, you gotta be able to listen to others. That's super pivotal, super important. If you can't do that, it's probably not the right industry for you. The last step and the most important step is persevere and continue to grow, grow, grow and work at it. Keep learning. like. Photography is not something that happens overnight. It's not something you learn in two steps. It's not something you just roll out the bed and have a unique style or unique thing that you want to do. Like it's tough, it's hard. So that means you need to be creating and like looking at stuff as much as possible because you never know like what's going to be like that one. I mean, and I've been in dark places where I thought, you know, this, oh, this is going to be the one, this is going to be the one. And if you're not falling in love with the, the process and not with social media and what it can do for you. And instead, trust the process, trust the photography, trust the concepts, trust the creativeness, and trust yourself as a creator. You're gonna be a whole lot better in this game at the end of the day. So that's just super important. You need to be looking into that. But if you embrace the process and you enjoy the ride, photography is a breeze. Now, I hope these tips have been helpful for you guys. You know, I've been drop a, drop a couple of gems on you today. So definitely um, like, subscribe, got some more videos coming out soon. So definitely look into that. And there's already more on the page, got a bunch of shorts as well. So you know what I mean? Shameless plug, check it out, check it out. And leave some stuff in the comments, some questions, some suggestions, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you guys. I love you. Have a good one. Be blessed.